welcome to Chess24. Yeah, I have the pleasure to have Peter Swidler with me. And um, I appreciate this opportunity to ask you some unpleasant questions. Yeah. Go for it. When I think Peter Swidler, I think kind of one of the most successful players of our times. Six times the Russian champion, the winner of the World Cup. He came actually very close in some World Championships and some of the cycles. Well, I did okay. I, I tend to do better in, in, in high-profile events, I think. They motivate me more than the, the run-of-the-mill stuff. Do you see yourself as one of the very top players of our times? It's a s difficult question because, uh, I mean, the results to a certain degree are there, but I still feel that uh, I, w I will be, you know, listed as a, as a sort of a beat player in the era of Kramnik. Uh, maybe not, not exactly a bit player, but uh, still there are people out there who uh, shaped the chess world uh, to a certain degree and uh, I don't see myself as one of those, but I mean, I'm a, I'm a decent player. Uh, well, this being said, um, how much of a chess player are you? How important is chess for you in your life? Yeah, and that, 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 is, a fair, <laughs> that is a fair question. I still think I'm primarily a chess player, but uh, I think the, the the question perhaps can be phrased whether is uh, the, the, you know have I been as much of a chess player as I should have been over the course of my career, and I think to that the answer is no. But once again, this is uh, by now probably unfixable, and I am probably more of a chess player right now than I was three years ago. So I'm trying to do something about it, but uh, I have been uh, somewhat relaxed uh, towards, my, towards my chess career in general over, over the past decade or so. And um, who knows what could have happened. I mean, the, 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 the whole the whole what would have happened with him if he worked on chess for 12 hours a day is completely pointless because I don't see myself working 12 hours a day, whatever I do. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a non-starter. I know of some people who do that, but uh, I, I, can't, I can't imagine changes in my life which would lead me to that. But working a bit more and generally being slightly more focused on, on, on chess perhaps wouldn't have hurt at some point. But once again, I mean, it's a question of balance. Uh, I mean, time is what you make of it. Uh, once again, I'm not sure my, my time management is, is ideal. Uh, probably, actually, it's not. But uh, I'm very set in my ways in, uh, when it comes to this. I mean, I'm, I'm very reluctant to give up on, on anything that, that I'm interested in to, to any degree. Yeah, no, I don't see why you should. Yeah. Because also well, once again, it's a question of priorities. I mean, it's um, um, being up to date with the wonderful world that is American TV is is important, clearly. But um, then you sometimes play one G three because you can't really play open openings anymore because people play the Petrov against you, and you kind of need to work at it. Yeah, well, clearly you do remain um, a very strong player and you are very successful, as successful as you have been, maybe even more in previous couple of years, yeah, winning the World Cup and coming back. Yeah, to 20, the 2011 candidates. was a good year, yeah. And, and okay, London candidates, I guess... But it's a, bit, it's a bit of a separate event though, because, uh, I'm, I'm not, not, not separate, but kind of standalone, because uh, this was the, the one tournament I had an opportunity to prepare for properly because uh, I got some support from the Russian Chess Federation which allowed me to, to actually hire people to, to do some work with me which for me is very very critical because I'm not particularly good at working alone and, and having, having people around uh, who first of all did a lot of useful work and secondly by their presence uh, kind of made me work myself because I would feel incredibly stupid if you know, if I had all this support system and then did nothing myself. Uh, that, you know, created a situation in which I, I actually was forced to, to do something with my life for a change for, for about half a year. And, and that brought results. But uh, in general, 2011 was uh, more of a solid year than, than 2013. 2013, apart from the London candidates, also, also featured minus, minus three in the Alekhi Memorial and minus two in Thessaloniki. It was a bit of a uh, uneven year, so to speak. 
Yeah, speaking of uneven years, uh, well, clearly your career maybe is even uh, more uneven, well, it's maybe slightly more uneven than of other top players because, well, you do seem to do extremely well in uh, events where, um, where it's important, where it matters. It I, would, I wouldn't say it's uneven. It's, it's actually, uh, I think I actually have an incredibly stable career. It's just that uh, uh, scoring in the plus one to minus one arc for the majority of it in strong tournaments uh, is a, a, a respectable career, and I don't think you know I'm I'm considered to be a walking point, you know, like somebody who needs to be targeted in elite events. But but on the other hand, uh, you need to be winning those events to to, to get somewhere, and uh, this is where I had problems over the years, obviously. But but generally speaking, I apart from 1999 and perhaps. Uh, some bits of this year when I was just playing non-stop and it was hard to maintain the same level everywhere. I, generally speaking, I'm, I'm very solid and you know, I, I generally don't have very bad tournaments. I just rarely have exceptional ones as well. So, Well, rarely, yeah. I would um, like to argue with you on this. Yeah, You have won um, the World Cup in uh, Hunting Assist 2000. Oh, I mean, there are, there are some, there are some uh, rays of sunshine there, but... Uh, uh, six times the Russian champion. Um, how important is that to you? It's pretty important and uh, and also, uh, well, uh, by now it's quite clear that this tournament agrees with me, so uh, I try to pay attention to it because uh, it seems it seems as if, you know, this is the one tournament of the year in which I'm, uh, for some reason, likely to do well. So I think I'm tied with Stalin and one behind Botvinnik if you count the, the old Soviet championships. I'm not even entirely sure. I never actually checked, but uh, after I win one, people start quoting numbers at me, and this is why I, I have some idea. How much are you missing the title of the world champion? Well, it's, uh, it's the one thing uh, that is missing, if you, if you think about it. And uh, I mean, I've been involved as a second a couple of times in the world championship cycles, and. Uh, uh, it's incredibly interesting, incredibly challenging, and uh, uh, it would be it would be really, really great to to be involved as a player. But um, once again, perhaps uh, not the main, but one of the reasons this hasn't happened is the fact that it never actually uh, featured in my life as the one thing I was dedicating my life to.